What's up ladies and gents, this is Casey Kid coming at you with another Overwatch video. Today we're going to talk about something that might be a bit of a hot button topic, especially in the Overwatch community, and that is its competitive mode. And if you took a look at the thumbnail, you know that we are not going to have the greatest and glowingest of reviews for Overwatch competitive mode. But if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. I just want to talk about my personal experiences in this mode as somebody who is not a top tier Overwatch player, and that's probably not really a big surprise to anybody that has ever watched this channel. But I think that my experiences are going to be the experiences of the large and vast majority of the Overwatch community, and not the top 5 or 10% of the players that are always going to be ultra and uber competitive and that are playing the game as the competitive type of natured game that they want it to be. So what I had to do to start off this Overwatch competitive mode is I had to basically qualify. So to do that you need to go through 10 qualifying matches. And this was actually my final competitive and qualifying match. It was my 10th match. And these 10 matches, if they were any indication of what I was going to go up against, they were okay, they weren't great, but I did pretty decent overall in them. We ended up having a record of 7-3 in my placement matches. You can see right here we had some streaks, we had a few losses, and then we came up on a big winning streak before that final loss. I got a rating of 53. That's fine. <laughs> That's right in the middle of the pack. That's pretty much where everybody seems to start off, somewhere around there in the 50s or so. And what are we looking for? We're looking for these gold-skinned weapons, so let's take a look at Soldier and look, for 300 competitive points we can get this. Wow, 300 points, 300 points, wait a second. When I was completing my matches, I was getting one competitive point per win. One point per win. But that was just for the placement matches, right? Whenever we get into the real deal, we're going to get more than just one competitive point whenever we get a victory and zero whenever we have a loss, right? No. Nope. It is one competitive point per win, and that is it. So to get one Golden Gun skin, you need to win 300 competitive matches. 300, and look at all of those characters. 300 points per all of those characters with new characters coming to the game. Talk about a ridiculous grind. I mean, this is a grind upon all other grinds. This is catering to the people who pretty much have nothing else to do but play Overwatch all day. Holy crap. And if you think that these matches are going to go by smoothly, think again, because you're going to have people leaving matches just like this. So you start up in a match, and if they leave within the first two minutes or so, the match just ends up ending. They just cancel and forfeit the match. Okay, well, we're just gonna go ahead and try our luck again. Let's start up another match, and boom, there we go. Leaving again, match is over. So you're gonna see this stuff constantly over and over and over again happening joining up in a match people leave restarting the match going back to the title screen having to start all over but it doesn't get any better because people will continue to leave even in the middle of matches and it doesn't matter if you're winning or losing you could have somebody leave because of a disconnection while you're up in winning and stomping on the other team and then suddenly you're down five against six and it is an absolute massacre from here on out. Five against six and you don't really have much of a chance at all. And then you'll get the banner at the top of the screen that says, you know what, somebody left on your team, you can now leave without facing a penalty, but you'll still get a loss. So whenever I saw that the first time, I thought, you know what, why would I leave? I'm just gonna stay in, I'm gonna get myself some more experience, not necessarily experience as far as the game's concerned, but general Overwatch playing experience. I'm gonna go ahead and stay through the rest of the match some people ended up leaving. It was something like 3 against 6. We got our butts absolutely kicked, got to the final end screen, and my level went down. So despite other people leaving, despite me slogging through the rest of the entire match and just not up and leaving whenever somebody else left, I still got penalized for being somebody that stuck through and continued trying to play the freaking game. Because I was trying to just play the game, I got penalized even more, and even if I would have backed out whenever it said I could have backed out, I still would have lost actual experience, and I still would have lost a rank in competitive because some other people left and put me on a team that was at a disadvantage as far as numbers go. Absolute 
horse shit. Seriously. Absolute garbage. And you know that we don't say stuff like that on this channel very lightly. Just an absolute garbage type of mode. Just an absolute garbage type of game mechanic that penalizes you for trying to be in and playing the game. And they say that they're going to take into account your skill whenever they're basically ranking you up or down at the end of the match, but don't buy into that one bit. This is all about whether you win or lose your match. All about winning or losing the match. That is literally the only thing that is going to matter as far as whether or not your rank goes up or down. That's it. So, if you're like me and you've been playing this solo or even in a group of two or three, Forget about it. You are absolutely screwed. You're done because you're going to be in a match with a bunch of randoms and you never know who or what is going to leave. And we're not even talking about the skill just yet. We're not talking about the skill of the players or anything like that just yet. We're just talking about the simple mechanic of leaving a match and basically being screwed over because somebody else that you don't know, that you have no connection with, absolutely leaves. Unbelievable. Completely borked. And you can see right here. I ended up having three gold medals for my team, we ended up having a victory, and the points that I'll get are just marginal. There's nothing that I'm going to get any type of extra bonus points for having three gold medals. I'm going to rank up from 48 to 49, and that's pretty much it. Whenever I get a loss, I'll drop down pretty much that exact same amount, regardless of having three gold medals in this match, which really didn't add anything to my score or my ranking at all. You know, Blizzard comes across as having some stiff opinions and stiff penalties for people that are leaving matches. They don't like it. They say that if you leave, you end up then getting frozen out of the activity for a few minutes. If you leave enough, you could get banned from the entire season until next season. It all sounds great in theory, but in practice, it is clearly not affecting anybody. People aren't scared to leave. People definitely are not scared to leave. So. Despite it in theory sounding like it could be a deterrent, in practice it is not. So one of your only ways of doing that is to go in with a full team of six players. A full team of six players. But honestly, if you're not legitimately playing this competitively, and I mean like MLG competitively, how often do you truly and actually have six people that you want to go in and run competitive mode with? It's probably not that often. And you're saying, well, kid, this is called competitive mode. Yes, yes, but it's accessible to everybody. If you have the disc and you do your 10 qualifying matches, you're in competitive mode and you can go ahead and play it. Why would you make your game mode catered around the fact that, boy, if you don't have six people in it, chances are you're going to lose and you're going to have a really, really bad time and bad experience while you're also losing. It's just a terrible situation to be in. It's just not a well thought out or well crafted mode. I understand that Blizzard wants everything that they do to be on the competitive market. And that's great. Esports are great. The people that do esports are great. They've got their Twitch channels for that. They've got their tournaments. They get their prize money and everything like that. But also you've got a much, much bigger audience that is not competitive. In fact, if you look at the overall sales of your game and compare it to the small amount of people that actually play this game as a pro for a living, you're going to find out that your audience is made up of quote unquote casuals or people that are playing the game for gasp, should I say fun? Who ever heard of playing a game for fun? But I'm sorry, that is who makes up the vast majority of the audience of this game or any other game. Of course we still want to win. Just because we're not playing the game at the ultra competitive level that it is doesn't mean that we don't want to win and that we don't want to have a good time whenever we're doing it. And I'm not saying, I'm not asking for any extra special preferences or anything like that. I'm not saying to tone down the difficulty, not that you really could do that in a mode where it's all PvP. But I'm saying that what you have going for you right now is absolutely ridiculous. It doesn't work. It clearly doesn't work. It doesn't work for the audience that wants to play the game, pick it up with maybe one or two friends, or simply just wants to go in it by themselves. Why would you penalize somebody who wants to play your game? No, you should want people to play your game. That's what builds a fan base, and that's what builds devotion for this game and sequels in the future. And we haven't even talked about the sudden death, which is thankfully going to be removed in the next season. It's a really good thing. 
nobody likes sudden death at all. The really interesting thing is that on sudden death, it's typically if you're attacking, you're almost guaranteed a victory, and if you're defending, you're almost guaranteed a loss. In my videos that we showed here, it was actually just the opposite. That was just a little bit ironic. That's not typically how it ends up going. So I started off the season with a 7-3 mark, 7 CP, that means 7 CP towards the 300. And after those 10 qualifying matches, I ended up going 5 and 12. 5 and 12, so I have a whopping 12 CP. You can see that I will not be getting a golden gun this time. I probably won't be getting a golden gun until 2018 for one golden gun. Yeah, this game mode is ridiculous right now. The idea is fun. To have a competitive league is fun because there are awesome and incredible top tier players that will absolutely strive for and try to be number one overall. The problem is you're catering to only that small minority and the entire rest of your fan base is just thrown in the middle and it's like you don't even care or don't even acknowledge that you have any other players in your game because you're just breaking the entire mode for them. It's not fun. It's just a terrible slog fest. I've been more frustrated with this particular game mode than I have with anything else in gaming in the last I don't even know how many years. This game mode is bad, bad, bad. The only reason that I'm playing it is because even if I lose all of those matches, if I happen to get one CP, that makes me one CP closer to a golden gun, even if it is an absolute ridiculous grind and slog and disconnections are everywhere, it's not like they add people back into your queue after somebody leaves. It's a mess. It is a gigantic mess. Blizzard has got a lot of fixing to do for this competitive mode, and I think the number one thing they have to do is think about who their audience is and who actually bought their game. Anyway, guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. Check out these awesome videos. Good luck with your competitive mode. If you're solo, you are definitely going to need it. And I'll see you around in Overwatch. Fun matters.